from LNM Kicks bringing another video for you guys today. Uh, I know it's been a while, um, but me and Max, we haven't really been hanging out. We've both been pretty busy, but um, pretty soon we're both going to start hanging out a lot again. Um, to be honest, we've both been working a lot to get, uh, you know, sneakers to present on a... Uh, I get sneakers because I enjoy uh, getting them and I like to present them on my YouTube. He doesn't have, like, his own YouTube but uh, we do this one together, kind of. We've only made a couple of videos, but we've, uh, you know, we kind of just started this one. Um, so he's working to buy things for himself. And, sorry guys, I'm fixing the camera. But he's working to buy things for himself. And I've been working, you know, to buy sneakers for myself and to present them on my channel. But, um... So yeah guys, that's mainly why there hasn't been any videos on this channel. But today guys, I'm going to be uh, doing an unboxing and a review on a pair of sneakers that I did pick up from uh, SneakerCon Chicago. I know this is a really late review. To be honest, I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to front or anything. I completely forgot about our channel. It's just we don't really talk about it that much. It's something that we thought was a really good idea at the time because we were hanging out a lot. And then, uh, as the summer started, because we started this channel right before summer, and then as the summer started, he had to, he uh, he does a summer baseball league, and um, he has a game in practice like almost every day. So it's just not really working out, but um, we will be pushing out a lot of videos soon. Uh, I'm gonna review a ton of my shoes, and then we're gonna review some of his shoes, and then we'll do some vlogs probably. And we're probably going to show you guys both of our sneaker collections. But uh, I just want to tell you guys that. But for right now, let's just get straight into this unboxing. Alright guys, so getting straight into the shoe, not wasting any time. As you can see, um, white and gold Jordan box. You don't see the OVO sign. Um, right here, size 12, Air Jordan 12 Retro. So if it's not an OVO box, but it's white and gold, you guys might can take you guys can probably take a guess of what these are and you know just the fact that uh it says it in the title i just kind of like to do that for all the haters out there um authentication right there like i said i picked these up from sneaker con chicago and i actually did get these uh legit checked at a booth that they had there you guys kind of just seen it but um yeah i did get them authenticated at a booth that they did actually have at sneaker con chicago I picked these up for 550 dead stock. The reason I think they were 550 is one because you know I was at a sneaker show and sometimes sneakers are a little bit lower on price at sneaker shows, believe it or not. And um, there was just a couple things from shipping on these, but like I said, they are dead stock. So uh, here they are. It is the Jordan 12 Wings. So let's just get straight into this review. All right, guys. So uh, I'm just gonna do an all-around look of the shoe first. The upper is very, very, I, this was my grail, um, it's my grail of my collection, this is the Jordan I have always wanted and I had to pick it up, like I said, they're 550 in my size, 750 on Flight Club, so saving $200 for just a couple flaws, which I will show you, uh, here's one of the flaws, there's like just a little black mark right there, and like I said, these are from shipping, and then on this one, um, when I first got them, it was a tad bit like yellow right there. It still just is a tad bit, but um, I basically scrubbed all of it out. So those two things were the only thing wrong with the sneaker. That that was literally it. So I I had to cop them. There's no way I was gonna pass these up in my size. So um, yeah, guys, let's just get straight into the full review. Starting with the bottom, as you can see, it has that wings look. You know, if you were to uncover the upper and uh, to do this, do not use acetone. Um, some people do think that you should use acetone, but it will actually take all the color away. You need to use rubbing alcohol. That's what you need to use when you are trying to expose the wings on these. Um, so yeah, use rubbing alcohol, not acetone. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, just that wings, uh, it's a semi-translucent. Um, Kind of, yeah. It's kind of dark. Um, so it won't yellow, obviously, because it's not all the way translucent. I called it semi-translucent because there's a display underneath. And then with the white bottom and then the black gel, man, I have actually worn these once already. Uh, the day after SneakerCon, 
uh, I came back. I went both days to SneakerCon. I actually went with my friend Bryce. Um, I came back that night, and the next day I went to the mall and actually worn these. You can't really tell. I scrubbed them as soon as I got home, and the mall is pretty clean, so they didn't get that dirty. But, uh, yeah, moving on, guys. Getting at the back of the shoes, you can see 23 in the black. And then probably one of the most iconic uh, photos ever that was taking, uh, taken of an athlete was probably this one. It's kind of dark in the room, and I am sorry about that. I can try to put my flash on. It hasn't been working recently. Yeah, it's not wanting to work, guys. But, um, I don't know why. I've just been trying to use it recently. But you guys should know it's that Jordan Wings kind of, uh, look. One second, guys. I'm actually going to turn another light on. Alright, guys. So I did turn on another light. Hopefully that makes it a little bit better. Uh, it does a little bit. Not much. But you guys get the gist. Um, just that, uh, that Wings picture. Um, in the picture, he was holding two basketballs, but on this, on the tag, he's only holding one. Uh, I'm not very sure why they did, did only one on this one. But, um, and then, it's in gray. He's in black, and then around him is gray. And then, uh, as always, it says that Jordan up there. Uh, it says, Jordan, with a little help, everyone can fly. Um, it says that in gray. So there's the back one last time. Uh, getting into, like, the midsole like the mid part of the shoe. Um, starting off, it usually says Jumpman right there, but it says wings on this pair, obviously. That and the eyelets is just what really pops to me. Um, if you guys watch my self channel, Sneaker Freak, by the way, go ahead and subscribe on that channel. Um, if you guys want to, I would appreciate it a lot. Also hit subscribe on this channel for sure. If you guys want to see more content, there will be a lot more content coming up. I'm going to push out a few videos tonight. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, like I said, it usually says Jumpman, but it says Wings. So I'm going to say that's part of the midsole, obviously, because, you know, right there. And then it has, like, a Stingray-type look, kind of. It reminds me of the Stingray, like, that you would see on the OVOs. Um, just right there in white. So there's that. Um, moving on to the insert of the shoe. Like, the light, I my flash isn't coming on, and it isn't daytime. But it has that same, like, if you were to expose the wings, look on the insert, and then it has a white jump man. Um, so there's that, and the lining is black, obviously. The laces are all black, nothing going on with the aglets. Um, I kind of wish there was gold tips on the aglets. I kind of expected, expected there to be. For how expensive the sneaker was, it really would have been a dope touch uh, to the sneaker. I think it would have made it pop a little bit more, like if you leave your laces hanging out um, like some people do. I don't personally, but just to have that on there, I still would have liked a lot. Um, and then moving on to the front of the tongue, um, it usually says 2-3, it says 2 in the wording, and then it says 3 in just the number, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm pretty sure that's what it says, yeah. But on this pair, it says wings going down the tongue and it's all in black so that's why you can't really see it and I'm sorry about that and then the tongue is leather obviously like most Jordan 12's um so that's honestly it's basically it other than my rating out of 10 I always do on sneakers when I review them and uh, the leather quality starting with the leather quality to be honest for how expensive this shoe was it is it's stiff but it's butter I will say that it's butter very soft it's just not plush though, and when in terms of talking about leather, that's really what I look at is how plush it is. But I'm not a big complainer on how well the leather is. It's not a huge deal to me. Uh, I am very pleased with the shoe. Very glad I got it. But that was the only. That's the only thing. It's just you know the leather isn't super super good. But um, out of ten, I'm gonna give these a ten. Like I told you guys before, I got them. These were my all-time grail. They're my grail in my collection, you know, which means they're my favorite sneaker in my collection. Before these, it was my Royal Ones, but now it's these, obviously, because, you know, these overcome those, obviously. Uh, but yeah, guys, so 10 out of 10 rating on these. I just love these shoes so much. They look so dope on feet. I went to the mall, and I had tons and tons of people staring at my feet. So if you guys get your pair, get yourself a pair 
the same thing will happen with you, obviously. It's just a, such a dope shoe and those gold hints. Especially if it's like a sunny day out, it'll just shine, it'll glare off. You know, it'll be getting in people's eyes, they'll be like, what the heck. But um, this is not a flex video at all. I'm very humble to have these sneakers in my collection. I'm very blessed, um, for sure. I was actually able to get these with my graduation money that I got from 8th grade. Um, I didn't get good enough grades to get blessed with uh, enough money, like I said, to get these. Um, so yeah, one more time, you know, it's not a flex video, nothing like that. But yeah, guys, that's just gonna about just going to about do it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely be on the lookout for more videos on this channel. Uh, me and Max will definitely be together in more videos because he's not going to be as busy. Um, I have basketball starting up soon. He only plays baseball. I play just basketball pretty much. Um, I'm gonna have like open gyms and stuff starting for high school basketball and workouts. But that's like uh, workouts are early in the day. And then open gyms are at night, so it works out perfect. Um, so, you know, me and him will be pushing out videos. Like, we'll be in the videos together. It'll kind of make more sense since obviously this is our channel. But yeah, guys, um, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. Comment down below if you guys want to, um, like, new videos that you guys want to see. Oh, and I'm not going to tell him I'm posting this video. If you guys want to see some pranks, definitely comment down, that down below. I bet he won't see this video. So, um, yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. One, one last time, hit the subscribe button, comment down below videos, videos you guys want to see and any prank videos like I just said. And then uh, hit the like button. Let's try to get this video to 20 likes, you know, small channel. Try to get some big likes. Um, so, yeah, guys, that's it for this video, and I will see you guys later.